Hello, welcome to our video tutorial. Uh, in this video tutorial, we'll see how to select data from multiple tables and also how to create view. Uh, so let's see. We have uh, already created database, student management system. We have three tables. So now what we are going to do is try to select data from multiple tables we have list of students here we have list of courses here and in here student course we have a relationship between student and course which student takes which course so let's see what we have in tbl student course go there you go so now what I want to do is I want to put a student name in place of ID and course title in place of course ID now as you can see uh, my SQL is automatically implementing that for me but if I want to show the data as a report then I have to do it myself. I have to uh, select those informations myself. Now, how uh, my SQL is getting this data? Let's say in student ID, when I mouse over to ID one, it shows Barakat Tolcha, which means the number, uh, the full name of the ID one. How is MySQL doing that is because I told it the relationship then a student ID means an ID column in table student so using those this uh, ID column it's, go, it's showing me the name and here it's showing me the title but I want to do it myself which means I want to write a query to display the information I wanted not by mouse over by using mouse over so which means we have to write a query that uh, that touches or that goes across three tables not just one right now we are uh, writing a query with only one table now we have to do that for three tables so let's see how to select all from tbl student course okay now if i'm going to join tables then i have to use uh, inner join syntax there is an inner join syntax in sql so inner join student course inner join with tbl student now the join is or the the connection between these two tables is it has to be defined which column is used to interconnect those two tables so I have to specify on on is a syntax like inner join now on tbl student course dot student ID equal to tbl student from tbl student ID so now what it does is it will show me all the columns from TBL student course and TBL student using the rule each student ID from TBL student course is equal to TBL student ID column. Let's click go and see what happens. Look. Now, all the columns are here. ID, student ID and course ID are from TBL student course and ID, full name, gender, grade and birth data from TBL student. Now I can select which columns to see. And also, look, we have five students in our table, but now I'm only seeing one table. Why? Because of this criteria. I'm only seeing a student who has a student course record 
in student course table. Okay, let's check that. Let's insert another table, uh, another record in uh, student course. Insert into TBL student course, student ID and course ID values. Student ID Hulet, course ID 1. Let's insert that. Okay. Now, let's write our join query again. So, this is our query. Let's copy it for future use. Now, go. Now, I have to see two columns because there are two columns in student course. Okay. Now, I'm not going to, or I don't want to see all this junk. All I need to see is ID of student course, name of a student, gender of a student, and of course, course. Let's see that. Let's edit the query. Now, I have to pick the columns I want to see. So, from TVL student course, dot id i want to see and from tvl student i want to see full name and again from tvl student dot i want to see grade and from tvl student course i want to see course id let's copy the query for future use of course now let's see how many columns i will get see I only get four columns. Why? Because I only selected four columns. ID from TVL student course. Full name from TVL student. Grade from TVL student. Course ID from TVL student course. Now, I have four columns from two tables. Still, I need to change something else. I need to change the course ID to course title. Because course ID doesn't make any sense for a user if i want to give this report to my manager he doesn't care about course ids he, he doesn't even know what course id 2 means so i have to provide the title for it which means i'm going to add another table into the query let's edit the query now i have to add another inner join inner join with what with tbl course on the condition matters which tables are joining i want to join tbl course with tbl student course so tbl student course dot course id equal to tbl course dot id okay now I have to specify here. I don't want to see student. Uh, I, I don't want to see course ID from TVL student course. What I really want to see is, since I have course ID integrated, I have course table integrated. Then TVL course dot title. This is what I want to see. Go. There you go. Now, John, grade ten text introduction to java bracket grade 10 text introduction to mysql now this report makes sense because it shows me all the students who are taking courses okay so this is what inner join is about now i have the required fields i have found the, the required data I want to filter. Now, what if I, uh, I will be asked next time this kind of data? I, I can save the query somewhere and reuse it, but 